Hello everyone! After my failed attempt to adapt the K-Silver Hall Effect sticks on Joy-Cons, I stumbled on this post on GBA Temp, where the user Newhoff talks about full-size Hall Effect sticks that, in theory, can be used on regular controllers. And after some research, it is indeed true that the brand K-Silver is making different models of Hall Effect sticks for controllers. The full-size Hall Effect sticks have the sensors and the magnets in the same part, and it has the same pins layout of a regular potentiometer stick. Also, there are two other models, one for small handheld devices, and that's the one present on the RG505, and there's another model for VR controllers, and this one is in the middle term, it is compact, but the thumbstick size is the same as any regular controller. These ones are present in the Nixie Wizard GameCube controllers for the Nintendo Switch. And currently, the only way to get these full-size ticks is buying these replacement modules for the Steam Deck. They come in this nice package, and outside they might look like regular potentiometer sticks. But compared with the Gully Kid sticks, they are different. The Gully Kid sticks have only the magnet piece, and here you have the magnet and the sensors. So let's move on and I'll try to install them on this Pro Controller. Here's the board disassembled and you can see the regular potentiometer sticks. Here's the stick desoldered from the board. And here's the comparison between the potentiometer stick and the new Hall Effect stick from K-Silver. And they fit perfectly in the motherboard. I didn't need to cut anything down or make any modifications. With the sticks soldered, I put a battery and proceeded to test them. The sticks were fine, but couldn't reach the full circle. And in the calibration, I couldn't reach the full length of the direction. These created problems because I could never finish the calibration in the step that requires to make circles with the stick. And I also tried the magnet trick that I did with the Joy-Cons previously, but even with them, I couldn't finish the calibration. Eventually, I managed to finish the calibration on the right stick.
and the calibration persisted even after a reboot, which didn't happen with the Joy-Con sticks. But the thing is, the analog sticks were calibrated without the shell. When you add back the shell, the range of the sticks will get limited, and you can't use a magnet to calibrate them with the shell. So I tried another thing, which was using this Drift Fix compensation board. They must be soldered underneath the sticks, and you can change the sticks values by turning these potentiometers. But even with these boards installed, turning the potentiometers didn't fix anything. I believe that these Hall Effect sticks are outputting values much different from regular potentiometer sticks. And in fact, if you look at the board, you will see that there are additional chips and buttons to calibrate the stick. Even the manuals show that the sticks will be off-centered and you must center them and press a button to complete the calibration. But Neohoth pointed out that there are models without the calibration chip. And in fact, you can see the different models on pictures on AliExpress. The model I bought had the picture without these chips, but in the end I still received the kit with the calibration chips. So now we have to wait and see if Mio Hoth sticks will have the chips or not. And if it does have the chip, I guess that it's no good and we'll have to wait for someone to develop a chip compatible with the Pro Controller. Or maybe we can figure out how the circuit works and adapt them with some wiring to work on the Pro Controller. Another thing that I'd like to point out is that there are videos on Bilibili, the Chinese YouTube, of these same sticks working on DualSense controllers. How did they get it working? I don't know. But as soon as I find out, I'll bring the update here in the channel. Once again, thank you for watching even my failed experiments and I'll see you next time.